McKinnon was a Scottish systems administrator in his 30s when he was accused of hacking into computers at the Pentagon and NASA. Described by the US as the biggest military computer hack of all time. Well, that was a decade ago. Since then, with backing from his family and a growing number of supporters, McKinnon's been fighting against extradition to the United States, arguing his case should be heard in Britain. I was in this country, my computer was in this country, all the evidence was here, and I admitted to the unauthorised access. So. McKinnon suffers from autism and Asperger's, and recent medical reports state he could kill himself if he's taken to the United States. Psychiatrists appointed by the Home Office said, It is clear from medical reports that there is a significant risk of suicidal behaviour, and Mr McKinnon will do what he's threatened to do for the last three to four years if the extradition proceeds. If he's transferred to a U.S. prison without provision for his mental health, that risk would very significantly increase. Gary's mother, Janice Sharp, has led the fight against extradition. She's encouraged by the news, but wary. I'm very hopeful, but I'm scared to be hopeful because it's almost like a waterboarding of the mind. You're up, you're down, you're up, you're down. It's cruel to the core. It really is. And she says Gary's mental condition has worsened as he tries to cope with the threat of extradition. He stays at home, he sits in the dark, he sits with his cats in the dark. He uh, used to go out, he used to cycle, he doesn't do any of that anymore. Uh, he's a good musician, he hasn't touched an instrument for years because he feels it would bring up too much that he couldn't deal with. And also, the ups and downs, it's like a mental torture. There's so much promise and then it's gone. The British government is expected to rule here in Parliament on Tuesday on the case, with the family of Gary McKinnon daring to believe that for the first time in 10 years and seven months, the extradition order against their son may finally be lifted. Peter Sharp, Al Jazeera in London.